Is your kombucha scoby growing mold, or is it perfectly healthy? We'll show you how to tell the difference here on posymom.com's Probiotics and Health. Hey, Internet. One of the most common issues Posimom customers report having when they buy their first kombucha scoby from us and ferment their first batch of kombucha tea is what looks to be mold growing on the scoby itself or on the surface of the liquid. Now, when we hear about those reports, honestly, it kind of baffles us because we grow more than 500 scobies every single week. And after more than 100,000 total batches of tea produced by us, we have never seen a single instance of mold growing on a kombucha scoby. That tells us that mold is incredibly rare. So how is it possible that so many customers report seeing mold growing in their very first batch of kombucha tea? The short answer is, in the vast majority of those cases, it's not really mold at all. When you receive a kombucha scoby in the mail from posymom.com, uh, you're getting a beautiful, juicy, round, white scoby. It looks perfect, doesn't it? But actually, we clean those scobies before we send them to you. When we pull those scobies out of the jar, they look more like this or this, or this. Do you see that brown mucusy stuff growing either on the surface of the scoby itself or maybe on the surface of the water? Maybe you have something similar growing in your tea and you might think it's mold. But actually, it's perfectly natural. That is the kombucha culture. A kombucha culture contains gazillions of strains of bacteria and yeast. Is gazillions a number? Gazillions isn't a number. But the point is, there are lots of bacteria and yeast. And what exactly is yeast? Yeast is a kind of fungus. It's a single-celled fungus. What is mold? Mold is a kind of fungus. So when we grow kombucha, we're growing something very similar to mold. That's why when that culture is fermenting the tea, it might look a little bit like mold, but that doesn't mean it is. So how can you tell if your kombucha scoby or the fermenting kombucha tea is growing mold or if that nasty brown or green mucusy stuff growing in the jar is perfectly normal? You could follow this simple rhyme. If you think it's mold, let it get old. In other words, wait a few days. Mold, as it grows and matures, will definitely look like mold. The strains of mold that are likely to grow in kombucha, if any mold grows at all, are very much the same strains you might have on an old piece of fruit sitting in your kitchen for a few too many days. It's the kind of mold we've seen all of our lives, maybe from something that stayed in the fridge for too long you know exactly what it should look like. It's going to look powdery, it's going to look fuzzy, it's going to grow little hairs as it matures, and it's going to have a bluish color. Nothing in kombucha should ever look blue. If you see blue in your jar, you know there's a problem. But if you see something brown or green or yellow, kind of mucusy and slimy, not powdery or furry, well then that is not mold. That is the natural kombucha culture, and it's perfectly healthy for you. Do mold and old rhyme? Yeah, those rhyme, right? So, if after the first few days of brewing your tea or fermenting your tea, you see what looks like mold, it would be best to continue waiting several more days. It will definitely look like mold. What would mold look like on kombucha? It might look like this or this, or this. If it looks fuzzy, or if it looks powdery, or if it has a blue tint, then you know for sure it is mold. The problem is many first-time kombucha growers throw out their batches of kombucha tea, flush those scobies down the toilet, or throw them in the trash, when actually they're perfectly healthy and there's no mold at all. 
So be sure you have mold before you take any drastic steps. Now, let's say you are sure that your SCOBY or your T is moldy. Uh, what should you do about it? And why do you have mold growing in your kombucha in the first place? How can you prevent it in future batches? We'll talk about all of those things in a future video.